Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, so uh, this is a, I guess a little uh, tool garage video here. Um, something I got for the holidays. Um, I'm not sure what it is. It's called the Nilfisk. Anyways, it's a, a dry vacuum, wet dry vacuum, something that I've been wanting to get. And uh, there's a picture of it here. A guy cleaning, I don't know, his garage. Um, let me see some more information. Uh, I guess that's English for a wet and dry vacuum cleaner. The Aero 39 Inox. Looks like a little picture here of a wood shop here. So, um, <clears throat> this got it from uh, Home Depot, but I didn't pay anything. It's one of those rewards um, for using a credit card. I typically use it whenever I need something. Um, here's some components that comes with it. Uh, a dust bag, a filter, and some other accessories and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of what it more or less looks like. Some other features of it here. Um, what I do like about it is that it does have an extension, it acts as an extension, so you can plug in other tools and stuff. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like here. I don't know what those symbols are, but I think I got this one right here. Yeah, this one looks like. So that's some, the one I got. Um, so, anyway, uh, if you're wondering how I got this uh, rewards from Home Depot, it costs about almost $550. No, $450, but $500 if you add shipping. I didn't pay anything, so this item was free. It's a freebie. Uh, so, uh, let me go ahead and unbox it and uh, see how it goes. Okay, I'll cut and cut out. Alright, so here's what it looks like from the inside here. Uh, you can see that I'm getting some... So you just pull it out here. So that's what it looks like. There's nothing in here. This thing came in a... This box pretty much came inside another box. So it was a box within a box. Um, if you have seen my other videos where... Um, I do a lot of traveling because my Bitcoin related investments and uh, so I use uh, credit cards here and there where uh, wherever Bitcoin is not accepted or cash is not accepted or it's hard to get cash to give um, but anyways uh, here's your, your freebie here and uh, let me go ahead and pull it out so that's what it looks like from the top uh, there's no styrofoam from what I can see it just looks like you just literally just pull it right out so let me do that all right, I pulled it out, and basically, <laughs> the thing comes together. This top comes on top. Uh, those, this was on the very bottom right here. Uh, this, of course, you saw as I opened the box. I was wondering where the hell the other items are, and if you, the thing about this is, this is a stainless steel five-gallon. I think it's a five-gallon uh, container, um, but it's stainless steel. Here's what it looks like with the wheels. Very nice indeed. Comes with these. So, uh, so here's the uh, wow, big ass instruction manual. Here's the filter bag. I think it's reusable. Um, feels like it's reusable. And then uh, some other stuff that you need to put on here. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. Attachments, another attachment. Uh, well, uh, okay. Anything else in here? No, nothing else. So this, I'm not sure what this is. A bag to carry all that. And then that's the inside. What? Let me see here. Uh, more, more paperwork. And then there's your your filter here. So uh, let me read the manual and uh, see what I need to do for wet and dry. I'm probably going to use it as a dry vacuum right now. I'm uh, basically washing my car. So 
So here's all the parts and pieces that come in it. Uh, so the box is empty, so we can toss that aside and uh, let me uh, cut out and come back in. All right, I put the bag in and there's some directions on the side here and you basically just take the front piece of this and just slip it right in and then so I can do it with one hand. It's kind of weird, but there it is and just, just slip it right in. You get the point. I'm one-handed, so uh, not too bad. So let me cut in and cut out. All right, I got the bag in, and it looks like it's not uh, reusable from what I can tell here. But you can see they want you to throw it away after it gets full. So I'm cutting cut out here. All right, sorry about that. So, um, all right, looks like I'm ready to put the top back on, and uh, you figure out all the other attachments, so let me do that. Here's the uh, filter. I guess it doesn't really matter, but let me put it together. I'll come back in. All right, I uh, come back in. I put the attachment on here, but uh, it just, for the most part, just slides right in. You can see right here. There's that hole, and that's it. I guess the suction does everything else. Uh, this other part here, however, it's a little different. Um, there's this piece right here. I guess you could control the flow of the suction because there's a big gaping hole here. And I guess uh, if you want more suction, you just you close it. Sorry, one-handed. There we go. And you close it. Um, I'm trying to see if I can take this off. It's a little hard. they got handles on both sides here. But uh, I just want to see if I can take it off because this big this is a, quite a big thing and it may, may be in places where you can't get this whole thing. But it does rotate. So that helps. Um, so now I'm going to work on this part right here. Um, this part right here. So I'm trying to figure that out. And I think that's pretty much it. Other than that, uh, the rest are seem to be just attachments. And also that the filter, I don't think it's reusable, so you're gonna have to get rid of that. But okay, that tells you more. And that tells you more right there and there. So let me see here. Let me see anything else here. Well, no, I, I think that's it. Uh, let me get it. Oh, no, no, there's more. Okay, well, let me go ahead and put it all together and see what it looks like. All right, everyone, it's uh, complete. I'll try to tell you uh, how I came up with everything. Uh, in the instructions here, it gets uh, a little confusing here um, because some of these are your models, some of them are not your models. Um, but. Um, Uh, anyways, uh, most of what I can take from this is that uh, you have to take... <laughs> uh, these really don't help. They're kind of confusing. What really helped me the most was uh, looking at these here and figuring out what uh, they're really used for. So um, I'm going to try to explain here. Um, Alright, first of all, there's this attachment right here. And uh, this simply just uh, comes right off. There you go. And it's this attachment right there. You simply just slip it right on. And that's what holds the cable. There's another one right here that you could use something. So uh, I've decided to use this. This is the most common. Um, there's also holes down here in which you can use. I've decided to use this for the uh, for this particular rod or right here to go on here. Uh, there's another one right here which I've used this one for that. Um, there's a little hook right here and uh, 
this was inside out, but uh, they got these little loops here. And they're kind of flimsy, but uh, uh, you put things in. Um, this, I don't know what it's for. Um, I'm assuming this is just a uh, perhaps a backup piece to something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's the same thing here. Or maybe it's just an extra piece that you can maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. But it has the same thing here, um, where it's being used, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, maybe it's just a, a, a backup piece for, for this here, um, for whatever reason. Anyways, um, I don't even know, but I'll put it here. And then uh, I have this piece here, which um, I have nowhere else to put, so I'll just go ahead and put this on here as an attachment. And that's about it. That's about it. That's all I got here. Uh, you wrap this around. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I try to bundle it, but it doesn't quite reach. So I think you have to wrap this around like this. And uh, put that on here. Um, and that's about it. Uh, most of it I got from looking at this particular one, push clean, which is that little button right here, push clean, okay, uh, blow, this blows too, not only does it suck, but it blows, <laughs> that's this little thing right here, so, uh, let me see here, I simply detach this, take it out from the front, and put it into the rear. And then, there you go, it goes from suck to blow. <laughs> Either one works for me, great, <laughs> awesome. Uh, Alright, so let me try to put that back together here. Alright, and here's the other piece here. Um, there's a piece right here, which... Okay, so there's this piece here, which is for this to hold here. But uh, you'll get this part here, and it's loose, so you just put it on. You pull this, uh, you pull this bottom out, and then you slide that in. Um, I'm missing a screw, and I can't seem to find it anywhere, um, so I'm not sure where it is. But uh, this little piece right here, basically, um, basically uh, just hooks right there, and allows you to. Put it in here so allows it to, to stay in here like that but uh, since I don't have it really uh, clamped down tight um, I can't find the screw for it so uh, but it's tight enough where you could just kind of just leave it there just have it have it there like that so that's the uh, basic setup of this from what I could tell um, that should get it going uh, now that I put together, I'll, I'll see if I could uh, try it out. I'll read the rest of the manual, and I'll cut in and cut back out. All right, everyone, cutting in and uh, read the rest of the. Well, I didn't read it, but I looked at a lot of pictures. Uh, what this is basically is an attachment that you could uh, simply uh, take out of here, attach it on here, and what this attaches to is. Um, a, uh, an accessory very similar to it's on this picture right here oh, this guy. so you see right there that you see that piece right there that's what that is that's the attachment that goes on to um, whatever your your um, your tool for the, the wood dust sawdust so if you have a hole an attachment somewhere um, where this can fit in, you simply uh, pop off the sides here, put it onto the to the holes just like here, and just put it into that little port where your tool is, and it'll suck up all the sawdust. So that's what this is. Um, so, uh, well, that's kind of useful. I don't know if I'm going to use it just like this. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But that's what this is for. And. Uh, all right, I haven't started it yet, but that's the whole setup. Uh, it's a little different uh, than what they recommend in the manual, but this is how I'll have mine. 
Um, so the thing I wanted to share here um, is uh, that's the push, that's the blow, uh, that tells you the little picture of uh, the hose hookup or the power hookup. And then this picture right here, this little symbol, is this little piece right there to hook up to your, I don't know, other attachment. Uh, got that set up here. And then finally, this one is your power port, which comes in here. So, so I guess you got to turn it on. Um, I'm not sure if this is on, and then you have to just push this. I'm not sure if there's three settings, like how powerful it is, but I'll I'll try it on. Um, let you all know how how it goes. So let me uh, cut in and cut out. All right. Um, there's some of this debris I have. I kind of vacuumed a lot of it, um, but when you travel a lot and drive a lot, you get a lot of this. Um, so it really helps to have this shot back. Um, it's really cleaned up really with a lot of junk in here. Uh, the only thing I don't understand is this thing. It's supposed to be a push start, but I, I don't understand what this is. Anyways, I'm just going to have to figure that out, but so far it, it works. So. Uh, let me get to the rest of the cleaning and uh, let you know how it is. Well, everyone, I'm cutting back in and a lot of work, but it's pretty clean. It's pretty dirty. It was pretty dirty. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, the back was really dirty. Now look how clean it is. Really nice. Excellent. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with this machine. Let's roll this back. to say uh, this no fisk uh, aero 31-21 PC inox US 120 volt 50 to 60 Hertz uh, dry wet vacuum um, I guess it's good I like it it's pretty much freebie I used all my rewards points to uh, to get it a little complicated uh, kind of setup but uh, I haven't tried the wet back yet. Um, I tried the blow part in the back. It does blow. I don't understand this thing here. Um, let me see if I can read into it. Hold on. All right, everyone, I'm coming back in here. Uh, this is a push clean. So uh, I pushed it, and it does uh, do something. It doesn't suck or blow as hard. I think it pushes uh, the dust out of the filter, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, it says one, two, three, do it three times, and I don't get it. Anyways, it's a push clean button, <laughs> whatever that means. Anyways, overall, um, I am very satisfied with the performance of this unit. Uh, um, so I'm very happy to get it. Uh, I haven't tried the wet vac, but uh, I'm sure I'll definitely get an opportunity to do so. But uh, right now, this uh, this thing right here, uh, not too bad, considering it's free. Um, I give it a thumbs up. So anyways, uh, this concludes this episode. Um, it did clean my car very well. I'm very happy. Uh, probably use it for other things in my uh, woodworking, metalworking, gun working, um, all sorts of stuff. Home repair. Uh, it's five gallons, so it's pretty big, so it should be able to suck up a lot of stuff. Anyways, this concludes this episode. Feel free to like, dislike, uh, leave a comment. Um, also, uh, feel free to do video response. Until next time, stay tuned. Bye.